Greg Draper. We've interviewed you a fair few times this season, and with good reason, of course. Another brace of goals this evening. Your fifth of the season so far. Yeah, um, could have had one or two more tonight, maybe. Uh, keepers made some good saves. Uh, had a header at the near post where he's got down low to it, and then uh, no one just before half time when James put a good ball across and I sort of stretched for it a bit, got as much on as I could, and he's made a good save down low again. So, uh, yeah, it'd be nice, uh, nice if I would eventually get a hat trick, but um, I think I have to go 1 0 down, and uh, I think we responded really well, and it was important that we you know, started uh, moving the ball quicker, and we did that and uh, created a lot of chances, and obviously uh, went out worthy winners in the end. And not only are you pulling away at the top of the goal scoring chart, but the New Saints now have a five point lead. It's been a very close season so far, so that's a good position to be in this evening. Yeah, that's uh, obviously that was what we got told before the game started. Uh, game in hand, so if we win tonight, obviously five points clear. Um, that was what we wanted, and uh, let's say we got, got a, a good 3 1 win. And, uh, also nice, like you said, to uh, start pulling away on top of the golden boot. And what was the message from Scott Rusko at half time? Going in, of course, just 1-1 one, one at that stage. Uh, just keep moving the ball quicker, really. Um, we pass it around nicely in the first half. Uh, probably just catch us on the break a little bit, so we just sort of uh, sharpen things up defensively. And uh, I thought we passed the ball really well in the second half, and uh, they couldn't really live with us in the end. And looking ahead to the next game, action on Friday at Park Hall in the JD Welsh Cup against Penryn Cork. Although they're in the second tier of Welsh football and in 12th place in a 15 team league, nevertheless, still be a challenge for the New Saints. Yeah, obviously, they'll be well up for it. Uh, it'll be a big occasion for them, probably the biggest game some of them have played in. So uh, we'll have to make sure that we turn up and do things right. And, um, you know, if we do that, then. Hopefully we can put a few past them, but uh, we won't be taking anything for granted. Well, Greg, thank you for your time this evening. Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the goals. And we will be sure to interview you when you finally get that hat-trick this season. Fingers crossed. Cheers.